Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and to another unboxing video. Now as you may have just seen from the intro, today we're going to be unboxing the Wave 2 set of paints from the Two Thin Coats paint range by Duncan Rhodes. Now when I saw this on Kickstarter and I heard that Wave 2 was coming, I immediately backed it based purely on my experience from some of the Wave 1 paints, in particular the metallics which I think are absolutely excellent, and also the fact that some of the colour range gaps that were in wave one have now been filled by wave two but also because in this wave we also get some glazes the six new glazes as well as some new metallics as well so i was definitely eager to try those out so what we'll do in this video is we'll get the box opened up we'll see what we get in the box and have a look at the paints and the kickstarter rewards and then towards the end of the video i've got some space marine backpacks that are primed up in white and painted up with the new glazes and some of the new metallics from wave two so we'll take a look at those as well and also we'll have a quick look at the paint rack from Sirius of Precision which you can probably just see in the top of the frame there. But without further ado let's have a look and see what we get in the box. So first thing at the top we've got a brush holder which was part of the Kickstarter reward so it's just a nice laser cut MDF brush holder so that's very welcome. I'll definitely be using that and then underneath we've got a piece of card and then we've got a bag with our paint reference charts in and there's also some conversion charts I believe as well so Let's just get these out of the bag and see what we've got. So we've got our reference charts for Wave 1. So this is the Wave 1 set of paints that was that's already out at the moment. And if we turn it over, we've got a nice conversion chart as well with your Citadel colours. So that's really cool. And also Army Painter colours as well. So if you use Army Painter or Games Workshop's paints, you've got an equivalent here. So that's really good. And then we've got the colour wheels on, of course, and then your various colour selections, neutral colours, warm brown, flesh tones. And then we've also got the same for Wave 2. So again, we've got the colour wheel. Now we've also got our six new bright paints. So we've got Hellspawn Red, which is apparently the reddest red that ever redded, if you listen to Duncan and his um, <laughs> description of it. We've got the brand new metallics, so we've got Dwarven Iron, Battle Axe Brass, Steampunk Copper, Overlord Brass, Top Brass and Platinum Crown. And then we've got our six new glazes as well. So red, yellow, blue, orange glaze, green glaze and purple glaze. Try saying that fast. Now the yellow glaze is apparently just like Lamenta's Yellow that Games Workshop did. So that's going to be very, very welcome indeed. And no doubt Valrak will be buying some of that. And then we've got some more colours and some more flesh tones as well. And some different flesh tones, which is really cool as well. And there's also three new washes in this as well. And if we flip it over, we do indeed have a conversion chart for Wave 2. Again, we've got your Army Painter and your Citadel Paints as well to compare to. So that's really cool. Also in here, we've got the Kickstarter rewards. We've got a Rhapsody, Rhapsody sticker there with Sakots and Gizmo on there. Uh, we've got a gizmo sticker if i can get that out of the bag is it a sticker yep retro gizmo sticker and then we've also got a full paint reference chart with all the colors on there from wave one and wave two in a nice color wheel which is really cool i think this is gonna have to be going on the wall and then we've got a conversion chart with all the paints from wave one and wave two and their equivalents from Citadel and Army Painter. So that's really awesome. Again, I think I might have to copy this and then get that put on the wall. So that's good that they've put that in there. And then lastly, we've got a limited edition art print um, with Sir Coates and Gizmo there battling some uh, demons or whatever they are. So that was another one of the Kickstarter rewards. So that's pretty cool. And then of course we've got our paints, but just before we look at those, we do have some free miniatures. So we've got a Gizmo miniature, which I think is a really nice touch. They didn't have to do this. And then there should be, if I'm correct, a Sakots miniature, which there is. Yeah, a sci-fi version of Sakots, which is really cool. So I'll definitely be painting that up and I'll probably, uh, I might give that away on the channel as well. So here we are with all our paints. Now, as you can see, just from looking at this, there is quite a lot of bright colors in this range compared to wave one. But there's also some dark ones as well and there's some military greens. And of course we've got our new metallics. But if we look at this one, I think I've picked the right one. Yeah, Hellspawn red. So apparently this is a very, very heavily pigmented red and it's supposed to be super, super bright. So at the end of the video, we'll have a look at one of the Space Marine backpacks painted up with this. I'll just put uh, two thin coats on it as, you, as the instructions say, and then we'll see what it's like. And also we've got some of the brights as well. I think that's one of them. Yeah, Craven Yellow, that's one of the other bright paints. And then also we've got our washes, which I believe are down here. Yes, that's one of the new washes, Helium Red Wash. And then our glazes. So we've got the green glaze and we've got the yellow glaze, which is apparently very much like Lamenta's yellow. So it'd be interesting to see what this one is like. And also as well, 
as part of the Kickstarter rewards for Wave 2, we've got Desert Rust, we've got Iron Oxide, so these are effects paints. So these are like Kickstarter rewards. I'm sure these will be coming into the stores eventually at some point, and then we should have a Verdigree one if that, yes, there we go. So a Verdigree effects paint as well, that's quite thin. So it'll be interesting to see what these are like as well. And of course, the whole Wave comes in a nice form storage box, just like Wave 1 did as well. So that's everything we get in the box for Wave 2. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut the video. I'll get those Space Marine backpacks painted up with the rest of the, um, with the glazes, sorry, and with the new metallics. And we'll also look at Hellspawn Red as well and see what we think. I'm not gonna review every single color in the box because to be honest, that would just take far too much time. And there's other videos out there that can probably do a much better job than me. For example, Starly has already done a video on Wave 2 over on Tale of Painters and it's uh, an excellent review. And of course he paints all the colors up onto like a plastic plastic card color swatch like he has done for wave one so if you've not watched that video i would recommend checking that out he's done a good job with that one but what i'll do now is i'll cut the video i'll get these backpacks painted up and finished and then we'll take a look at what these colors look like so i'll see you in a second so i started off by applying the glazes these went on really really nicely no issues there and then moved on to hellspawn red this was superb out of the pot it only took a little bit of thinning and the coverage was absolutely incredible after that I moved on to the metallics, again these were brilliant out of the pot, giving them a good shake, they mixed really well, unlike Games Workshop paints these were superb on the palette, just a little bit of thinning and they went on really nicely and then again with this one Platinum Crown, probably my favourite colour out of the new metallics, this is an absolutely superb colour, more of which you'll hear in a minute, but very very nice coverage on this one as well, so yeah very very impressed. Okay so welcome back and as you can see we've got the backpacks painted up with the glazes and the metallics and of course that Hellspawn red. So what we'll do is we'll start off with the glazes and we'll begin with the red one. Now what I've done for each of these glazes and for the colours, uh, the metallic and the Hellspawn red, is I've just slapped it on quite roughly with a brush. To give you an idea of a real world application, I'm not a professional painter by any stretch, so I've been quite rough with it deliberately just to see how well these paints will cover. Now, this is two coats of the red glaze, and as you can see, it's a really nice red, good coverage, and overall very impressed with that one. Next up is the yellow one, so this is the equivalent of Lamenta's yellow, and I'm really, really impressed with this one. Again, very smooth coverage, it's got two coats on there, and I think this would be a great uh, glaze for Imperial Fist players, or perhaps uh, Eandon, Eldar. Purple, this one was one of the weaker glazes now when i say weak i mean the coverage was a little bit thinner than the uh, the yellow and the orange but again it's still a really nice color i've slapped it on there two coats and i think this one would be really good for tyranid players perhaps you know to go over that um, leviathan color scheme the blue one again a really nice color that's had two coats on it and this was a little bit thinner than the uh, orange and the yellow but again that's a really nice color and i'd be eager to see what this looks like over a blue base coat rather than just white all of these were primed with white scar by the way the orange one i was very very impressed with to be honest this didn't need two coats i put one coat of this glaze on and it was a lovely deep orange it didn't look like a wash it didn't look like a, a contrast paint it was really quite impressive and i think uh, for fire dragons eldar or perhaps um, trans hyperion alliance uh, leagues of wotan that orange glaze would be really good and then we've got the green as well this was a really nice color this covered really well very very smooth and this has got two coats on it as well uh, particularly impressed with this green that's a really nice glaze and then we've got the hellspawn red now i was quite rough with this on purpose just to see what it would cover like and how it would dry and it is really a bright punctured red it's quite hard to see under these lights it goes on really well it dries really smooth and it thins nicely as well and overall very very impressed with this paint it's super bright so yeah thumbs up for that one now moving on to metallics i've got to say i was very very impressed with these if you're a minasaurs player or perhaps caradron overlords there's some great colors here for you uh, particularly this one as well very very nice so we'll start off with overlord brass so this one like all the other metallics thin quite nicely and covered really well as well now as i said i've been quite rough with the brush and just literally slapped it on there just so it's like a real view of what the paint's going to be like you know in the hands of an average painter and how smooth it goes on and overall very very impressed it mixes well on the palette only needs a little bit of water to thin it down next up top brass again this is a really impressive color really like the look of this one again this has dried quite nicely 
and overall just a very very nice addition to the paint range and i think in terms of the brass paints and the copper paints that games workshop have i'm afraid these ones are just far superior platinum crown this one is a fantastic color very impressed with this one and i'm looking forward to using this on things like sword blades and sort of decorative metal and stuff like that this is a really really nice color it's a little bit difficult to see in the light but honestly in the flesh in the, in real life that is such a lovely color next up dwarven iron this is a really good one this is sort of your equivalent of uh, iron warriors i would say for games workshop and a lovely dark metal color this would be great for sort of age metal stuff like that really nice color again it goes on fantastically well and overall very very impressed next up we've got battle axe brass another really nice metallic color and again just i think a much better choice than games workshop's brass equivalent it just goes on much much smoother it mixes a lot better and overall very impressed with the finish on this one as well so as i said earlier some of these paints are going to be ideal for like caradron overlords or minotaurs players and then lastly we've got a really nice sort of red copper color steampunk copper and again this is a really impressive color it mixed really well on the palette and it's gone on really smoothly and uh, very very impressed with this one as well so overall i've got to say i'm very impressed with the metallics they're just as good as the metallics from wave one which was what i was hoping when i backed this kickstarter and the glazes as well i'm quite impressed with especially the yellow and the red um hellspawn red the heavily pigmented red one of the bright colors that we've got in this range very impressed with that as well super punchy red it's not quite as bright as i thought it would be going off the description but it is a really really nice red color and for blood angels players this could be absolutely ideal i've not tried the rest of the um super bright colors yet craven yellow gigawatt blue and the orange green and purple but i will be trying those out for sure but overall very very impressed with the um, wave two from two thin coats paints as I said earlier in the video, they are a little bit more expensive than what you'd pay some other brands, perhaps Army Painter and Citadel, but you do get the advantage of the dropper bottle. And overall, just, yeah, very, very impressed. Now, one thing I will say about the dropper bottles, it's the same as Wave 1. These paints, when you're putting the lid back on, so if you do have some of these, as you're screwing it tight, it will start to slow down. It feels like it's done, but if you just go a little bit further, it will then turn a little bit more and then it's on. So that's just something to be aware of. They don't always uh, close like you would expect them to it tightens up and then it loosens and then it's properly tight so if you do have some of these paints you might know that already but it's just something to be aware of but anyway that's it for this video overall very very impressed really glad i back wave two and i'm looking forward to seeing what else they come out with next i think with the kickstarter rewards the effects paints the rust ones and stuff like that i think that's what's going to be coming next from two thin coats there'll be more weathering effect paints uh, speciality paints stuff like that perhaps maybe even some textures um to you know complement the games workshop ones or perhaps compete with the games workshop ones for basing and things like that but anyway that's it for today if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up let me know if you've enjoyed it and if you didn't enjoy it just leave me a comment let me know why and if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe because there's plenty more videos on the way and all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching as always really appreciate it and i will see you in the next one take care